All right, welcome back to DLM Tech Garage, and we're still in Gilbertsville, New York, enjoying this lovely winter weather. You can see the snow, the lovely ice. Oh yeah, it's actually, I don't know what the temperature is right now. I'm sure it's like 34, 35, but it feels great. I'm actually in a light sweater. You can see that over here? And I'm not freezing, so that's always a good thing, so. Yeah, this is where we're at. So once again, in the tech garage, we have another computer. This one, I guess we're gonna call it mystery computer. And this computer, I have no idea what it is, what the specs are, or anything about it. There's no name or anything. I mean, some service tags from, I guess, whoever owned it, but other than that, I have no idea what it is. So we're actually gonna be working in the back of my old tech truck over here. And two reasons for that. Number one, when I get a computer that I don't know anything about or somebody just gives me and they don't know what's wrong with the computer, the first thing I do is I leave it outside. I don't bring it inside my house. <clears throat> have a quick story about that. So many years ago when I was in my, in my apartment, somebody gave me a computer to work on. Normal, I charge the customer, whatever. So they gave me a the computer to work on, um, said the computer didn't start. So the first thing I wanted to do was just open it up, see if anything was burnt or anything. I put down the computer, popped open the panel, boom, roaches came flying out of it. So as the roaches came flying out the computer, that computer actually, no joke, kid you not, actually tossed that computer from my second story balcony because uh, the roaches was crazy. So long story short, not only did the customer get the bill for repairing the computer, which I was able to fix the computer and I did buy a new case because I did throw it out there. I was nice. But they also got a bill for $150 for my pest control bill because they didn't tell me they had a roach infestation. So... Yeah, anytime you have a good computer, always open it up and check it out outside. Unless you know the person, if they're good people, they clean or whatever, open it up, check it outside. I mean, you take a risk of bringing this computer inside your home. You don't know if somebody has roaches, critters. I mean, in my years of working on computers, I've like I said, I had the roach incident. I've also dealt with the um, people having animal feces inside there, little critters. I've had a computer where there was a dead mouse and the fan. Yeah, I've had, I've seen a bunch. I've kind of seen, yeah. Just, if you're not sure about the person, just leave it out there. The person who owns this computer, I do know the person. They're cool people, but they, it's actually used for their business use, and it's kind of been in a dusty environment. So, yeah, I'm not going to open this thing up in this house that we're staying at just yet. So, yeah, just uh, precaution. Another thing, too, is even though I'm on vacation, I'm uh, many miles away, um, I always bring my... A uh, kit to kind of work on the computers. Well, not a kit, but some things I think you should always have. Uh, thermal paste. I bought this at Best Buy yesterday. I've never used it. I'm actually going to do a review on it, but we're going to just use it for now. A uh, can of compressed air since I don't have my compressor. My small, cheap Walmart repair kit. Phillips screwdriver. Brush for soft dirt. Uh, rubbing alcohol, 91%. Some WD 40. Um, I always keep a bunch of thumb drives with windows and various different softwares. That's a must. Paper towels and a rag. So those are typical tools that I have on the fly with me just to kind of just work on somebody's computer. I actually had to buy some of this stuff because I really wasn't expecting to work on computers, but hey, you never know. All right, so back to this computer. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what's inside. Already this panel is kind of weird. Okay, let's pop this thing open. We could do it one hand. Oh, I did it one handed. That's awesome. Okay. Ooh, she's gross. All right, good news. No roaches or critters. She's just dusty and crusty. And yeah. So let's pop this thing upside down. Hopefully, the camera lighting is not too dark because, I mean, I am outside. I might as well enjoy this beautiful weather. All right. So. Let's see, 350 watt power supply I've never heard of. Okay. All right. Uh, fan spins, fan spins. Get in there. This fan does not spin. Okay, so that's one issue. Overheating VGA card. We could try to fix that, hopefully. <coughs> All right, so let's see if we can pop this thing open. <laughs> fan not secure. Okay. Oof. Thermal paste has seen better days. Oh wow, this is so dusty. Let's put that to the side. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, I don't know if I can get that in the camera. I have not good lighting right now. 
It looks to me it's a Core 2 Duo E2180. You just gonna have to take my word for it. Yeah, it's E2180. Uh, what's the frequency on it? Oh god, 2 gigahertz. Whew. Well, it's just an office com PC. I've talked about this in a couple of my other videos is that sometimes uh, spending big bucks on a computer is not what you need. If you just want it to run Windows 10 and some office stuff, hey, this might get the job done. I don't know about 2 gig though. Well, I guess it does because Windows 10, I think, only wants a 1 gig. Uh, let's take a look at this memory. I'm pretty sure it's DDR2, which I despise with passion. Well, I don't despise it, I just don't prefer it. This thing would focus. Uh, I could get it in there. Well, once again, take my word, it is. Uh, two gigabytes of PC2 5200 OCZ. I haven't heard them for a while, so. We got four gigs of RAM. That should be enough, so. All right. Not the worst combination of computer PC setup in the world, but definitely not ideal. Does this thing have a hard drive? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hidden behind there is a solid state hard drive. So, all right. From what I gather, this computer is just like I said, office stuff. Just quick browsing. I think they use a special software for the company that they work for, whatever. But. They just want to keep it. They don't want to spend money on a new computer and anything. And I don't really have to do any upgrades to this other than clean it up, fix that issue, uh, see, put Windows 10 in there, and we'll take it from there. So we're gonna go switch.
All right, so this computer's mostly cleaned up. Just real dirty and dusty and nasty. I mean, just apparently it's in a outdoor environment -ish type deal and just many years, I guess. I mean, this computer's probably over at least 10 years old. So, but yeah. It's still real cold out here. Eh, not real cold, just nice and beautiful. And I don't want to bring any of this nasty dust. I mean, tons and tons of dust came from this computer. So, yeah, we ain't bringing that inside. But fresh thermal paste, that was dried up, all crapped out on me. Uh, I might change this thermal paste out, just why not, precaution. Um, cleaned everything off the best I can. Not doing a super 100% job like we normally do, because this is just only going back into the same environment it went into and I mean who knows the lifespan of this computer so I mean what, a year maybe two years maybe I mean this one is you know maybe if it was like DDR3 and just had at least a 3 gigahertz CPU maybe but DDR2 I mean if they could get another year out of it I guess that would help them out significantly so that's what we're just gonna go with so let's go back to this video card over here and this fan does not move, which is not good. So what I'm gonna try to do is peel off the sticker, maybe, or maybe just take this fan off and just squirt some WD-40 in there. Hopefully this fits, of course that does not fit. Why would it fit? Why would it fit? That would just make, that would just be completely easy and then we'd be done, but no, okay. All right, let's put you over here. Well, actually, say I kind of enjoy working on this outside more than I do my own tech garage. It's actually a lot more, not interesting, but I guess fun. I mean, it's cold, but then again, it's just as cold as my garage, so not that much different. Just take four screws out. I'm going to try to see if I have a plier. Maybe put some fresh thermal paste on here while I'm at it. At least try to help this thing the best I can so I mean this ain't a gaming computer it's not all about gaming sometimes sometimes it's just <laughs> just about running it's about walking I mean not walking running walking just about working so let's see if we could pop this out bingo Huzzah. or whatever all right so uh let's see let's see this thing does not move and I need to get this thing off. And I don't think I have a razor blade anywhere. Or maybe I'll just be able to get it off. Bingo. Oh man, this thing is, I don't know if I can get this in the camera real good, but this thing is crusted with dust. I mean. Now my suggestion for this, for anybody doing this and learn from my dumb mistake, I probably should be wearing a mask because I don't know what this dirt is and I'm breathing it in. So yeah, probably something I should keep in mind. All right, let's see if WD-40 can save the day. It usually does, I have found. I mean, this already is freeing up a little bit. Let me get some Ooh, don't want to mess up my new sweater. <clears throat> okay. So see if we get this thing in there to spin. It's already starting to move a lot more freer. So we just need you to spin. There we go. Spin, 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 spin. Yeah, it's already starting to move a lot freer. Just keep doing this for a little bit. Look at that, look at that. There's still a lot of crud and junk in here. Let's see if we could spray this away. Look at that. It's 
quite interesting out over here because where I'm from there's like no animals or anything and I keep hearing I don't know what I keep hearing if it's like a chicken or something somebody got a chicken maybe around here so that's actually kind of funny bingo all right so that's good so we got the fan spinning again just take care of that little issue let's put a little more in here let it soak All right, let's let that kind of just sit there and do what it do. All right, next thing we're going to do is move on to this. Just kind of let's see, what is this video card? 256 meg X550, I guess. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this one. But hopefully it works. I need a little maybe this work. All right, that works. Bingo. Ooh, little baby thermal paste from back in the day. Kind of cute. Okay. Let me get that off. Ooh, nice and clean. This stuff is so old. But... I said our purpose is not to rebuild the computer it's just to make her a little better maybe get another year or two out of it they were pretty adamant about saving this one i think there's four or five other ones just like this and apparently because this one has the solid state and whatever else is in it this is the one that they're a little concerned about keeping which is fine with me All right, uh, let's see, get the crap off a little bit. You don't have to do this. I have found it makes literally no difference. This computer, this video card will probably never be heated up the way it should be or used like a normal computer would. So, bingo, cleano, a la casino. It's actually getting a little cold out here. My hands are getting a little cold, so we're gonna have to wrap this up in a few minutes, take this inside and boot this thing up now that it is cleaner-ish, I guess. Let's put a little dab of this stuff on it. For all the horsepower and, not horsepower, all the gaming graphics and frames per second that this computer is gonna do and no, not really. Not at all. There you go. That should just be enough. Just to turn her on and get her moving. There we go. Hopefully I put this the right way. Bingo. Oh yeah. She's ready. She's definitely ready. Sit. I'm gonna play I don't know. Some serious Fortnite at a bazillion frames per second. Oh yeah. She's gonna be ready as can be. This is actually driving me crazy, this little nasty thing over here. Nasty, nasty. There we go. I know you can't see it, but it's still driving me crazy. All right, let's get it. Man, well, free is better, so probably 
Probably this thing could have gotten away with passive cooling, I'm sure. There we go. Bolt her in. Screw it in. I remember back in the day when these type of video cards came out, I was working on computers, I used to get so excited because, I mean, it had a fan on it and it was for gaming and superpower and it had all these pictures of all these fancy high tech looking like when 3D FX came out and then when the whole beginning of overclocking thing came out, I would take these things apart and put my uh, old CPU fans from my old computers on there to put a bigger fan to spin better and then mod it to the computer power supplies plug it in somehow so then I have this big beefy fan and I would be able to get like 10 more megahertz overclock and this thing would run smoother and less hiccup yeah it was crazy now look at where we at today they freaking water cool these things amazing 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 all right, there we go. That takes care of that one. Let's put you over here. Uh, let's see, do I really want to mess with this thing? I kind of do. It might be easy. Uh, yeah, it is. In fact, it is easy. This is going to be fun to put back on. I'm going to tell you that right now. How oh, lovely. It's going to be one of those situations where I'm going to say to myself, I should have left it alone. Just throwing that out there. All right, let's get this thing out of here. This thermal paste is all dried out. <clears throat> Gosh, this thing is dry. Normally I take a plastic razor and I scrape these off and that is a lot more efficient than this will, even though this is actually working sort of decent. So, okay. That works. Now let's see if we can get this off this little chipset die here. We'll clean that up later.
keep putting this away and I keep forgetting that I need it. Lovely. Oh yeah, that's probably definitely too much, but it'll be alright. Eh, it'll be okay. Can't hurt it much. And this is the fun part. I get to put this thing back on. Yay. Right, let's move you up here. Let me get you out of my way. I did bend this a little bit. This thing was as easy to come off as it is to come on. We'll be in business. And hopefully, ding dong, I already messed up. I forgot to put this super magic lever in that does things, I don't know. I don't know what it does. I guess it puts tension on it. And of course, I didn't pay attention to the orientation it went. Which I'm actually sure it's not this way, so I'm good. Oh, that was great. There went that computer. No, it takes a lot more to damage a computer than that, trust me. Oh boy. This thing has the bevel that goes that way, so I'm going to assume that this goes tension there. Okay, let's so put the bevel this way. <laughs> of course. What are the chances of this thing getting stuck? That's funny. All right, all right, all right. I know it's getting cold. Let's focus. There we go. Let's put you back on. Uh, nope, don't go that way. I think you're going to go that way. There you go. All right. Maybe this needs to go on first. Let's go with that idea. Let's put that stupid thing on. Okay. 
Bingo. All right, that wasn't as miserable as it was supposed to be, but all right. Bring you back in place. All right, let's put the video card back in. So go ahead and knock that out. All right, so this thing is done. I don't even know what that is, but we ain't worried about that. All right, this thing is done, cool. So fresh thermal paste, blew everything out, cleaned it out, fixed the fan issue. So we should be good. So we're gonna have to boot it up, uh, see how Windows runs, and take it from there. But before. Th All right, so our mystery computer is done. It is clean. So much better. It's got a nice little home over here. Windows 10 is installed. Let's see if I get that key right there. Or where is it? At? Let's see. Uh, there we go. Windows 10 is installed. As you can see, we got a dual core 2180, 2 gigahertz, weak, 4 gigs of RAM, and some 256 meg. I think it's like a X550 ATI video card. I mean, this computer is complete weak sauce and is what it is, but you know what? It works. Windows 10 works. I mean, browse the internet right now. We're watching our favorite YouTube channel, DLM Tech Garage. Very happy with that. So it works. I'm happy with it. Uh, we'll move the computer up here to the office of this house that we're staying at. Just kind of give you a panoramic surround view. So nice little cozy setup over here, and I'm sure the owner would be happy with it. This is another bedroom of this house. So just give you a view. Let's do a quick tour upstairs. Stairs to downstairs. It's a cozy, quaint little house. Nothing fancy. Nice bedroom. It's messy. We haven't cleaned it. But we'll get to that. So, real nice. I'll show the bathroom. Nothing fancy, just very old style house. So, just give you a figure, give you a quick view of the house that we stay in when we come up here. And once again, the computer. Um, only suggestions I would recommend for this computer doing it. Uh, Number one, wear a dust mask. I don't know what kind of dust, mold, dirt, or whatever. I should have worn a dust mask for that. Um, number two, the cold kind of sucks. Ugh, I didn't like the cold too much. But then again, I think it was warmer than the garage. And um, number three, I mean, hey, whole computers. There's a lot of people who just don't want to spend money on computers or just need something browsing the internet. And these computers are still good. So once again, um, refurbishing it, clean it up. We fixed the issue with it. One of the issues that this computer was having was overheating, which uh, was contributed by the video card fan. We had to free that up. Uh, it had a dead power fan in the back, um, three volt, 80 millimeter that had to change out. I didn't get to show it. I didn't figure it out until later. And just fresh normal base. So all in all, pretty good. So um, don't know if I have any other computer tech videos that I'm gonna do here. This might be the last one. So it is Christmas Eve. If this is the last one for the year that I might do, um, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions. We're up to like 69 already, which I think that's pretty cool. And uh, hopefully we continue to get this thing grow. So um, to keep posted for the next new year, I got a bunch of new stuff that I'm looking to get and uh, do to upgrade the channel. Just uh, comment below, give me your input, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, we'll see what the new year takes us. So uh, thanks so much for watching.